Okay, I would uh, like to start this talk with a photograph of my kitchen. Uh, not because I did the dishes for this time, or my <laughs> new coffee maker. Uh, but because of something else that is within this kitchen uh, that interests us, us very much. My kitchen drawer. Um, I'm going to take this. What's interesting about this kitchen drawer is, um, well, first of all, there's a lot of uh, things in it uh, that are typically for a kitchen. There's dust bags, aluminium foil, some plastics, uh, some tools to fix uh, the leaking tap. Uh, but if I clean all those functional things out, I am left with some stuff that I'm not particularly clear about what they are doing there, and I brought some of that stuff with me. I have a um, paper boat. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I have um, a plastic bag with uh, six screws in it, different types. They're probably there for a reason. They're probably part of something, but I don't know what. Um, clothing bags. I have a pasta. Uh, and here I have a paper clip. I don't know what they're doing there. Uh, but it are these items that interested us very much. And when I say us, I have to introduce a few people. Uh, for you, uh, on the left of me is Marcia Nolte, and on the right is Stein. They are uh, my two colleagues. And the three of us have the trio, we make carpets. Um, okay, what do we do? We take these products, um, we take them in big amounts, and we assemble them into patterns. And from these patterns, we assemble loose-lying art installations that resemble a carpet. Okay. So a pasta, for instance. We make the patterns, we create a carpet, loose-lying out of pasta. <laughs> so uh, why this carpet, you may ask yourself. Well, when we started with this project, um, we were wondering, like, um, we should put it in a shape that really resembles the place where all these objects come from, the house. So that's the reason why we thought of a carpet. Um, a paper clip for this time. It makes a carpet out of paper clips. What's interesting about these products is that they're so useless most of the time that they are at the, are at the bottom of the consumer society. People don't buy a paper clip because they think it's a beautiful paper clip or because they think it's golden or silver. They buy it to use. And even in the case of paper clips, most of the time you buy a hundred and how many do you use? <coughs> Two, three, you use them one time. Where does the rest go? Probably in your kitchen drawer. <laughs> paper boat, there it is. Um, when making these carpets, we, most of the time we find ourselves with, uh, in this case, uh, thousands of uh, blank papers or in the pasta case, hundreds of kilos of pasta. Um, and we find ourselves, the three of us, handling these things all the time, paper by paper, folding paper boat by paper boat. And this actually makes us look at a totally different way at these paper boats. A blank piece of paper will never be the same for me again. <coughs> and it's exactly this effect that we want to reach with the audiences who come to look at our carpets. Best told, maybe, in a story that happened with the match carpet, is that in this exhibition, a big man came walking in, uh, big arms, hands, he had actually a scar on his face, but was not really the artistic type or the sensitive type. He came walking in, the first thing he did was touching the carpet, destroying it. But what happened? That he was holding one match, and he was actually looking at this match as if he never saw a match again and probably he handled hundreds in his life. Bricks. The carpets can be big or small, or big for this one. This is brick carpet. It was actually made of 40,000 bricks. It was 32 meters long and 70 meters wide. Um, this actually was the sixth carpet we made, and it launched us into a whole new period. This got so much attention that uh, a lot of people asked us to do uh, exhibitions. Uh, right now, two years after brick carpet, we made 33 uh, different carpets out of different materials. Um, and then, of course, the question is, well, what are you going to do with all these uh, things? Why are you doing this? Um, we would like to fantasize about a world 300 years from now, where everything is uh, green and uh, environmental friendly, and everybody is healthy, and there's no trash anymore that people can litter. Uh, <laughs> sorry for that. <laughs> um, 
But we would like the people then to actually celebrate the fact that our society can make it possible to fabricate millions of useless things. <laughs> and we would like to want you and our audiences to look again at these things that you have around you, because you are the one who are demanding them and buying them. Thank you.